Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I am going to show you how you can get the replay plugin working in Premiere Pro. But before we do that, please like and subscribe this channel. This really helps us a lot and it doesn't cost you a thing. Let's jump into it. So Dropbox recently launched the beta version of Dropbox Replay which is an amazing platform, works very similar to Frame.io and it is integrated in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So you can get those extensions for absolutely free from the Creative Cloud plugin store. And um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. First of all, you need to go to your Creative Cloud apps. When you do open it up, this is what it looks like. Usually it will show your apps. So all you have to do is go to Stock and Marketplace and you need to find Dropbox Replay. So you can just search for that. <clears throat> Awesome, and you can see it's right there. So you can just go ahead and install it. I've already installed it. So after that, you can come into Premiere Pro. Now we're gonna open up the Dropbox Replay extension. The way that you do that is you click on the, the window menu, then you go to extensions. And then you'll see after you've installed Replay, you'll see that it's under extension. So you can just go ahead and click that. All right, so there we go. So now you can basically see all the different projects that you have already uploaded onto Dropbox Replay. And on top of that, you can add new projects as well. So if you wanna create a new project, I'm just gonna call that dummy project for now. There's my dummy project. And then you can upload files from your computer. It's really nice and convenient. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the previous projects I've done. I'm just gonna click on Happy Tiles over here. It's a promo for Instagram I did. And when you do go into one of these videos that you've uploaded, you can make comments from within Premiere Pro, which is really rad. Yeah, unfortunately you can't see all the comments on the side yet, but I'm sure they'll still release that in, in, the, in the days to come you can now review videos from within Premiere Pro. So once you're in the video, you can just hit play and if you need to make changes, you can hit comment over there, type something. Let's type a legit something, blah, blah. And you can grab the pen tool and make comments, draw arrows, whatever you wanna do. And then you can post it onto the video for the editor to see. So if you are the editor, that's fine. You can click on these uh, icons over here and then you can see the comments. And then another cool feature of um, replay is that you can show the person whether this is in review or whether this is pro approved. And uh, once you're happy with all the changes, you can just click approved and the editor can see and the client can see that this version is the approved version. It is that simple. I hope that you found this helpful. Happy uploading to uh, Dropbox Review. This program is really amazing and it is absolutely free. You don't need a subscription to use Replay. Happy editing. See you next time.